Hello my swaggers, it's your gal Magda. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone has a lovely day. How's it going? I am back with another video. So today, I decided to do another makeup tutorial as we are in my bathroom in front of a mirror. Like right over there. There's also a mirror right there. Oh, there I saw. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I'm going to do another makeup tutorial on the Batman Dark Eye Makeup Look. So I have a photo of it for reference. As you can see, it's right there. This is Robert Pattinson with the dark eyes. And I love that makeup look so much that I tried it on myself multiple times, but it did not work out. So yesterday I thought I would try the dark eye makeup look again and it worked out perfectly fine perfectly fine. It was much better and it was really good. So this is what I'm referencing to. But I decided to add more, like not too much makeup, but like add some like inspiration to the Batman. So, so the Batman dark eye makeup look comes from the smoky eyes. So I'm going to show you guys how to do smoky eye as well as an inspired makeup look for the Batman from the face to the eyes and the lips to the lips so yeah and if you're brand new to my channel hello welcome to the slider crew don't forget give this video a thumbs up press subscribe if you haven't already and click on the notifications bell so you can come part of the swag crew also comment down below who is your favorite Batman? And if you like the Batman film, which I really love, I watched it the other day and I was very intact. Robert Pattinson, or should I say Robert Pattinson is so good. Nothing beats Robert Pattinson's Batman. Like, am I right? Robert, if you're watching this, thank you so much for playing Batman and I'm trying the dark eye makeup look. I hope you is watching it, but if not, that's okay. Okay. I need to calm myself down and keep my fangirl low as possible. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's get on with the video! Woo! So, I'm going to start off by showing off a product and then applying of what makeup I'm using, but to start off, we're going to start off with my face. So make sure you wash your face and then add acne gel before applying it. This ROC Retinal Correction Deep Moisturizer, Daily Moisturizer, Deep Moist Wrinkle Daily Moisturizer with the SPF 30. So it's the day thing, so I'm going to apply this all over my face. I'm going to add like a little bit of amounts of it on my fingertips and gonna like this as you can see oh goodness okay so I'm gonna like rub them together and then apply it to my face like this to like get it out of, so I could feel refreshed feel nice and feel like it just woke up let that set for a little bit and um, for your lips, but make sure you add lip balm. So I used the Burt's Bees um, Bees Wax Lip Balm. I already added it earlier before applying it on the moisturizer, so yeah. Great use. So next up, whew, I'm sorry for taking too long. Okay, so next up I'm going to be using the BB Cream as my foundation. I love BB Cream and I love foundation, so this is perfect. So if you guys don't wear much foundation, just wear like BB Cream. It has SPF. Trust me, you're going to die over it. It's mad. So you're going to put some on your wrist, or I mean on the palm of your hand. So like a dab of it. If you need a little more, just add some, but not too much. You do not want to add too much. 
I'm gonna put some on my face with this foundation brush from Ellen Tracy. I'm gonna add some on my face to like clear up my face. And I know that Robert Battenson's face is like very pale, but I'm just doing it my way because you don't need to copy someone else. And I know that you need to focus on your face structure. So your face structure is very important. So my face structure, my face is a oval shaped face and Robert Battenson's face is diamond shaped as I'm showing in the picture right there. So make sure you like put some on. If you're missing a couple spots, add a little more foundation, I mean, beauty cream, but not too much. You do not want to add too much because you'll look like a clown face. Respect your face, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to, this is an option, but I like to do it. I usually like to blend it with a sponge. Yep, foundation is on. I mean, BB cream, sorry. So, next up is concealer. So I use Conceal RX Physical Strength Concealer. So this is gonna add like Physician's Strength Concealer. So this is like, as if it's gonna be sticking to it like glue. So I'm gonna put some on my under eyes and on my eyelids and around the eyebrows. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna untangle that. And I'm gonna use a sponge because I'm using a brown brush for something else. And add a little more, but not too much. You don't want to add too much on concealer on, otherwise it's gonna look pale. Well, it makes you a little bit pale, but don't worry about it. Because that's when we add on the eyeshadow or whatever to, you need to make the dark eye makeup or back. Sorry, I keep on doing that. Just classic Magda, you know. I have add on concealer, as you can see. My face looks a little pale. So, yeah. All right, next up, here we go. Now, time for the smoky eye. <clears throat> Here's how it's gonna work. So, I have like three eyeshadow palettes with me. I have a small one, a medium one, and a large one, kind of obvious. It's like a Goldilocks and the Three Bears thing, so. Yeah, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes somewhere in my bathroom, in my, under the sink in my bathroom. So it's gonna be perfect. So, first off, we're gonna start off with four eyeshadows that you're gonna use for the smoky eye. So the first eyeshadow is the base. So for the base, I'm using this color right here for the base, and this is by Ellen Tracy, and I'm gonna apply on my lid. And then around my eye, not below my lid, actually below, don't continue your lid. Yep. And next up, you're gonna do two eyeshadows. Um, I have two brown ones. One is the mid-tone and the other one is the dark. This is going to be epic. So I'm going to add a little, but not too much. So you add on the mid-tone and then you're gonna apply the darker. Okay. All right. Now that you've applied the the dark and mid tone, 
backgrounds for your face. Now from the Max Studios Makeup Pal Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to use this color, the black, for the smoky. I love black eyeshadow. I love using black eyeshadow. It depends on the day, depends on my mood and whatever. And then I'm going to use um, eyebrow pencil, which is an eyeliner pencil. And then I might also use Ben Nye's cream color con contour wheel. I'm going to use this black one up here. And most of you have very different skin colors. Like we all have, we all come in different shapes and sizes and colors. We all have. So my skin color is olive, olive, light to medium. That's where it comes from. So yeah. So I'm going to add some black to the whole shade and probably add eyeliner pencil. Actually, I'm going to start off with the eyeliner pencil inside. Something that looks like this. And then I'm going to just do the same with the other eye. Yep. So you got the dark like eyeliner above your eye. Then so for the under eye, you might want to put more black on the top and less black on the bottom. Because if you do more on the bottom and less on the top, it's going to look very hooded and you do not want that to happen. I've done that many times and it did not work out quite well. So you might want to do less on the bottom and then more, more on the top. Trust me, it works. So shout out to my mutual friend Kayla. So I'm going to use this small brush from Ben Nye and I'm going to use uh, this black, like this from the color wheel. I'm going to use black and I'm going to put some under my eye, like make it look like the makeup is running. Make sure it's less. Something like this. It's going to look something like this. So then I'm going to take my pinky finger and I'm going to smudge it like this. Your black eyes should look something like this. With the pinky finger, like make sure it's less on the bottom and more on the top. Ooh, it looked like I came out of a horror movie. Well, it is the Batman. It's not a horror movie. It's a superhero action flick. I recommend to watch the Batman. If you have not watched the Batman, I recommend that you should. It's really good. It's insane. There's so many action scenes, and I absolutely adore Robert Pattinson as Batman. Nothing beats Robert Pattinson as Batman, am I right? Whew. Whew. So then I'm going to use the eyeshadow palette from MAC Studios. I'm going to use the round brush. And now, you're basically almost done with the dark eye, as you can see right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so insane. So then I'm gonna do like a winged eyeliner, and then I'm gonna put some liquid eyeliner on. A brow pencil for eyeliner. This is from um, Ben Eye.
All right, now you got the little wing eyeliner from the black. I'm gonna add some liquid eyeliner from Ellen Tracy, and I'm gonna apply it on, on the waterline of my eye. But I'm gonna be very, very gentle and very careful with my eyes. Now, last few things on the list are the mascara. So I'm gonna start curling my eyelashes. Then I'm gonna use the mascara I'm gonna use is Volumizing Revlon Waterproof Mascara. I'm gonna add a little bit, not too much. the eye and now last but certainly not least I'm gonna use my favorite lipstick one of my favorite lipsticks is the liquid cover girl melting pout mat and this is Nuit Blanche I call this burgundy film noir but I'm gonna start off with using the lip brush that's from it lips lipstick this is the final look of the Batman I hope you enjoy this look and I think I did a pretty good job on the dark eye Batman makeup look. I think Robert Pattinson would be impressed with the makeup artist of the Batman. Whoever you are, thank you for creating this Batman dark eye look. I absolutely adore it and I try to create one myself. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? I absolutely adore this look. And yeah, I think you guys should try it out yourselves. And this is gonna be an epic thing about internet. This is gonna explode. So yeah, I think I nailed it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video this week. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and press my notifications bell so you can be part of the Swagger Crew. Also, comment down below what is your favorite makeup look and otherwise what other content you want me to create. And otherwise, comment down below what other makeup tutorials you want me to do. And yeah, that's it and that's all. Remember, I love y'all 3,000. Remember that everything is awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Zane. Mwah! Love you!